Hello everybody and welcome along to this lesson and in this lesson we're going to make an algorithm that's going to make a fact file program or rather you're going to so uh, what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to show you how we're going to create a fact file program about different countries of the world uh, and then you're going to have a chance to try and make your own about whatever topic you like so this is going to use quite a few of the Python skills that we've learned so far and we're going to uh, look at the code that I have used and then you can try and add to it as well so let's get stuck in and have a look at some of my bits of code and I'll explain sort of what's going to happen in my program and then I'll build it um, and we'll test it as well. So my program is all about different countries like I said and what it does is it asks the user to choose a country from the list. So the first thing it does is it asks um, choose a country from the list and it's you know we've got at the moment Italy, Germany, Spain are the three countries. Now you'll notice I've got uh, that forward slash, uh, backslash N, sorry, which means that makes a new line. So this is making a list. So I'll have a list of Italy, Germany, Spain. Now whatever they choose gets stored as country because that's the name of my variable. So my variable is country and it's an input and whatever they answer to this question, whatever they choose, gets stored as country. So then we go to this bit of code and we've got our selection statements. We've got if, elif, elif, and we've got an if the country is Italy. So if they've typed in Italy with a capital I, then it will print some information about Italy. Now I haven't gathered any information about Italy. That will be the next step for my product is to go and find some information and add it into there. So when they type in Italy, I could give them some information. So I could give things like um, what continent it's on, what its capital city is, what the population is. Um, so you can go and find out lots of different information. Obviously, yours might be about a different subject altogether. You decide what information you want to collect. Um, now, if they don't type in Italy, it will go right, elif, so else if the country they typed in was Germany. So if they did type in Germany, it will then give them the information about Germany. Again, you'll need to go and find some information to fill that gap. And then it'll do elif Spain, so it will check. Um, have they typed in Spain to the input? If they did, it will give them information about Spain. Now, the last bit is under here. Let me move myself. We've got an else. So if, it, if they haven't typed in Italy, and they haven't typed in Germany, and they haven't typed in Spain, I haven't got any more countries on my list at the moment, um, then it will say, right, you didn't type any of those in, so sorry, I don't know that country. Run the program again and try again. So if it doesn't recognise the country they've typed in, it will say that. Okay, now I could add in more elifs and more countries as I go along, and this program could be as big as I wanted it to be. Um, but I've just started with three. So let's have a go at building this, because here's what you guys are going to do. So you're going to follow the example to make your own code. There we go. So there's the example. I'll leave it on the screen for a minute. You're going to follow that example to make your own code. You're going to use selection statements. So they're going to put something in, and then this if, elif, elif, else, that's the selection statement. So that's what you need to use to separate their selection, depending on so that the program gives the right response. So what the program does depends on their selection. You're going to need to debug some errors and find solutions for research. So sometimes your code might not work the way you expect it to, You'll need to go online and find out what's gone wrong. And then the challenge is to add that additional research. So instead of it saying information about, you'll actually have some information there. So that's what we're trying to create today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, bring up uh, a website called trinket.io forward slash Python. This is the IDE. This is where I'm going to put my Python today. So let's bring that to the top now. Like so, and you'll be able to see where I am. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is just online, uh, and let's start writing some code. So first thing I want to do is make that input. So I'm going to give it a variable. So the country equals input. Remember, input is all lowercase, and then I can put speech marks inside of brackets and say uh, type a country from the list. Okay, then I'm going to start making my list. So I had 
uh, Italy. Then I did that backslash N for a new line. In fact, I want to put a new line here. I want Italy to run a new line of its own anyway. Okay. Yep, that's right. Okay, and then I'm going to put um, Germany backslash N. And I'll put the last one in, which was Spain. And I'm going to put a backslash N in so that it, when it asks um, them to answer, that's on a new line as well. So I can run that, like my first line of code I can run. And to run it on Trinket, you just press the play button there. So I've run it, and it'll let me type in. So I can type in, oh, make sure I'm clicked in the right box. I can type in Italy, like so. But when I press enter, nothing happens because I haven't written any more code. So now I've stored their input as country, I'm ready to use my selection statement to try and decide what happens next, depending on what they enter. So we're going to say, um, if, I'm going to put a space in there. You don't need one, but it just looks a bit tidier, so I'm going to put a space in there. So if country equals, and then inside speech mark, I'll do Italy first. Makes sense. Do my list in the order it's in. So if the country equals Italy, colon, uh, then I want it to print. And then here's where I'm just going to write info about Italy. OK, we can test that straight away. So let's run it again. So it doesn't like it. I've done something that I shouldn't have. Ah, no, I've just put a single equals. Now, remember, in Python, a single equals is an assignment operator. It assigns a value. What I need, if I mean equals, I need to put equals equals. OK, let's try it now. Okay, that looks good. Oh, make sure I click in the right box. Is it going to let me type? Italy. And then it says info about Italy. So that bit has worked. Now I just need to do the other two countries. Remember, your first selection statement is if. Everyone after that is elif. So else if country equals equals for our second which is Germany colon now here's where I'm going to highlight this copy it and I'm going to paste it in and then we can just change Italy to Germany it's a little bit of a shortcut there let's test Germany I'll click in the box remember Germany info about Germany now I can take an ultra shortcut for Spain I can highlight all of that, I can right click, copy, I can go back to the start here, I can right click, paste, and I can change Germany to Spain, and again, now obviously in the full thing, we would actually have the information in the program, this is just the, the structure of the algorithm I want to show you, but you could add your information in here. Let's just check that Spain works. Awesome. So those three all work. I could carry on adding more elifs, but I'm not going to. I'm going to finish there with my else. So if I had more countries, I'd add more elifs, but I'm just going to go straight to the else. And so else colon print. I don't know about that country. Run the program again and try another country from the list. Okay, let's give that a test. I've gone a bit wider, that's not a problem. You can adjust the, um, the width of these if you want. Let's run it, let's give it a go. So let's try Wales. Oh, no, I'm actually typing in the wrong box. Let's try Wales. Doesn't know Wales, because Wales was not on the list. So we're going to have to rerun the program and try it again, which I can do. So let's try what we do know works. And there you go. OK, so that's your challenge, is to make your own fact file program. It can be about countries if you'd rather do countries. Or if you've got something you'd be interested in doing, do it on whatever subject you would like. Just try and make sure that it's appropriate for school. 
And then once you've done that, you can copy your code either by doing a screenshot and pasting that screenshot into Word, or you can just copy and paste it into a Word document, um, or you can just submit it as a text file, I don't mind. But once you've done that, save it and submit it on the VLE so I can have a look at it and give you a bit of feedback. Well done everybody that's done one so far. I'm really looking forward to seeing your work. And hopefully guys, we will be having a successful time with our code. If you can't get Trinket to work, there are lots of other online Python IDEs. If you type in Python IDE, then that will work. Uh, you will find lots and lots on there. So that's all from me for today. Um, but if there are any questions, you can get me on the VLE on the messaging system. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.